towards him, and guess what? He picked up the tackle, swallowed up Calvin Tyler Jr. Play fake, Cardi to the sack. That's exactly what you said, Gardner Anderson. He's eighth in the country completion percentage, and he can run, too. They run it with Malik Jackson, who doesn't get anything. Henry Toho Toho says no. Regardless, Will Anderson Jr., he is a freak of nature, Cravante, to say the least. Uh, <laughs> yes, you took the words right from my right uh, right out of my mouth. Um, Will Anderson Jr. Um, so he was pretty much a top five consensus when the year started. Um, and I think the likes of Jalen Carter, you know, Tyree Wilson, some guys that we're going to get into. Um, had joined him because he was by himself. <laughs> well, really, him and Jalen Carter was by themselves, and then some other guys have come. He's pretty much in the consistent top defender um, in college football, so I'm not surprised to still see him here. Will Anderson, Jr., out of Hampton, Georgia. Junior, 6'3 253, 9'7-inch hands, 33 7 inch arms, 4'6'40, 1.61 10-yard split. He, as a freshman, started 13 games, 10 and a half tackles for loss, seven sacks. I mean, he was pretty much a beast from the word go. And I think this past year, what did he have? He had 10 sacks this past year and 17 tackles for loss. I I think it's it's interesting that he still was able to get um, double-digit sacks when he definitely got a lot more attention because – he was in the limelight. Like everybody knew he was going to be a top tier defender um, going into the draft. So he was still able to get double digit sacks. And, you know, in football, we play, in, in professional football, they play 17 games. And I want to say they played, what, 13, 14? Oh, 13 with the playoffs, they end up with like 15, usually so, SEC teams. Yeah. So 10 sacks is not too shabby at all. But, um, okay, so Will Anderson Jr. Um, elite, elite, elite level explosiveness. Um, it seems it's almost like he played, he's playing at a different speed than anybody else. Um, he has a great impact on, uh, on the game. He's also another disruptor and he has, well, just like, like you were reading off, he has some production. Um, he has some production for, for some time now, 10 sacks this past year with, uh, with the attention that he was getting. Um, and he can win. He can win in a bunch of different ways. He can win speed to power, power to speed. Um, he does really well with using his um, using his hands. So he's an absolute monster off the edge, and he's pretty versatile. Versatile too. I think he'll fit any pretty much any scheme. You'll find a place for him on your defense if you were a defensive coordinator. He would be heaven sent. Weaknesses. Um, they're small because I think these are these are some things that can be coached up and cleaned up at the next level. Um, he misses a lot of tackles, um, mainly like arm tackle, uh, arm tackling. Maybe he's maybe over pursuing a little bit, and a running back comes through the hole, and you know he's reached out for him, and he misses him. Um, so tackling, obviously, as a defender, that's number one. <laughs> Being able to tackle and get somebody on the ground, which he can do, is just. He misses. Um, he's misses. He's missed a few. Um, so there was a game in particular against um, ten Tennessee. He struggled. He struggled really, 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 uh, really bad against um, another good prospect and our Darnell Wright um, tackle for uh, for Tennessee. Darnell had his way with him. And you know it 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 was different to see because usually it's the opposite. But Darnell Wright, yeah, he he came to play um, against um, Will Anderson. But see, that goes into there's a target on your back. Oh, oh, he he's the best. Blah 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 blah. All, all this and that, and you're not about to do all what you've been up in here. And I think Darnell Wright took that personally. Um, and lastly, 
got to clean up some of the penalties. He was penalized quite a bit in 2022. But overall, uh, top-tier prospect, he's going to be in the top 10. Pro comp in top 10? I say top seven at least. Got to be. For sure. For sure. Um, comp, I have um, a little DeMarcus Ware in him. Um, just big guy, but has some deceptive speed. <laughs> so, because DeMarcus Ware was another big guy. Like his, I, as a Commanders fan, hated playing him twice a year when he's with the Cowboys. Um, so, yeah, pro comp, DeMarcus Ware. Um, so, I said top 10, but he's one or two, depending on who you talk to, he's one or two. Um, ranking rank in the rankings of defenders, period, regardless of position. He's either one or he's two. I agree. I could see him going as high as three to the Cardinals if they stay. We talked about Jalen Carter, and especially now with quarterbacks, you got to get after him, put pressure on him. Who else will end so, up the best in the draft? That's that. That I think that that's the theme of winning after you get your quarterback, protect them, and be able to rush them on the other side. And Will Anderson will greatly help anybody but yes i think that his seal his ceiling in the draft will with cardinal stay there but um and at his floor who's at seven the raiders yeah eight the falcons there's no way he could no there's no way he gets past nine no right. way he gets past nine well, we'll see what happens. Sound off. Let us know what you think about Will Anderson. Where does he go? Is he the first defensive player off the board? And what is his ceiling? Do you see the comparables that Caronte pointed out? More draft profiles coming your way on the Flex Zone Podcast.